All the surgeries are done at Roger Williams Medical Center because this is the center of excellence and we have to do them here and we want to do them here because all the equipment is here and that's the center of excellence. All the surgeries are done with something called laparoscope, laparoscopic. That means you're going to have general anesthesia, you will be asleep, and then we usually use five small incisions. Okay. Five small incisions, most of them are a quarter of an inch, they're one or two or half an inch big. So Dr. Paul will just spend some time talking to you about uh, the, what we still sort of consider to be the gold standard operation, the gastric bypass. <clears throat> but we also do another operation called the sleeve gastrectomy. And one way to think about this is um, in the gastric bypass, we, we don't take anything out of the body, as he described. We just sort of cut the gastrointestinal tract in a couple of places and rearrange it. In this procedure, we actually do remove something from the body. We do take out um, this large portion of the stomach. So in the gastric bypass, you end up with a little pouch of a stomach that's the size of your thumb. In the sleeve gastrectomy, you end up with something that's like the size of a banana or something. We call it the sleeve gastrectomy because it looks like a shirt sleeve, okay? Um, and so I'm going to show you uh, the video in a moment and uh, we'll go through the technical parts, parts of that and we can discuss also why you might have the sleeve gastrectomy instead of the gastric bypass. Um, but they're um, both interesting procedures. Um, you can see we take out the, the left side of the stomach here and we remove, this, this is about typically about 75 to 80 percent of the stomach that we remove, so you're left with about 20 to 25 percent of your stomach. Um, but there's no rearrangement of the intestines, so you see it goes clearly, uh, the flow of food is from the esophagus through the stomach into your intestines just as it always was. It's just that the stomach is much smaller now. The way the, way the sleeve works is, is somewhat similar to the gastric bypass. Certainly there's a restriction, and by restriction, again, we mean we're restricting the amount of food you can eat at any one time because we've made your stomach very small. Um, that, so that's, uh, that's a key point. But um, it turns out that there is a, a, a malabsorptive component as well. When your stomach is very small, as it is in the sleeve, uh, the food tends to go through more quickly. And when food goes through more quickly, then it tends to not be absorbed as completely. This is probably a small part of the procedure. But what's also a very important part of the procedure, just like in the gastric bypass, are the hormonal changes that occur after the sleeve gastrectomy. We remove a large part of the stomach, or a part of the stomach that is largely responsible for secreting these hormones that have to do with feeling hungry and feeling full. And because that part of the stomach is gone from the body, the signals of feeling full um, and feeling hungry are changed the way they get to the, the get the way they, they get to the brain. So those signals are altered. And so you feel full, just like you do with the gastric bypass. So this is probably a key part of how the procedure actually works to help you lose weight. There's also changes in terms of um, your metabolism. Um, so we call this a metabolic procedure, meaning it affects things like diabetes and so on and so forth, just like the gastric bypass does.